Hey everyone, and welcome back to my Making a Game the Desmos Graphing Calculator series. Last time we covered implementing the shooting enemy and adding coins for the player to collect. In this video, I'll cover developing terrain mechanics. I'm going to start off this video a little differently than I usually do. I want to pose a question that I need to solve for the terrain mechanics. Consider this. We need to find the equation of a line that is tangent to some point on the bottom half of a circle. If the slope of the line is known, what's the equation of the line? Well, to begin, my solution to this problem starts with the tangent line. We can find what the slope is in the circle at any point by finding the derivative of the equation of the circle. The equation for the player circle is the first thing to look at. We'll use the equation for the player when he's on the ground. I'll rearrange the equation to solve for y. You'll notice that the last thing I did here was take the square root of both sides. Should we use the negative, positive, or both roots though? Well, since we're only solving for the bottom half of the circle, which is where the player touches the ground, we only need to take the negative root. So here we have the equation for the circle. All right, now that we have the equation in terms of y, I'll take the derivative of it. It's a pretty simple chain rule application, so I'll show a quick play-by-play -play of what I'm doing here. Okay, now that we know the derivative of the equation of our circle, we know the slope at any point on the circle. Unfortunately though, we actually want the opposite of that. We want to know the x value for a given slope. We can rearrange this equation and solve for an x value where there is a known slope. Now that we know the x value for our point, we could plug it into the original equation for our circle to get the y value of our point. Now with a point and a known slope, we can plug it into point slope form to get an equation for our line. Here in Desmos, I set up a quick demo of the circle and the line we just solved for. I have the slope y here as a separate slider variable, and you see that as I vary it, the line sweeps along the bottom half of the circle. Really though, this is the only interesting part of making terrain, and the rest is just boring and repetitive. A lot of what's involved is just putting limits on each sloping section using piecewise functions, as shown here, and then hard coding the positions. Because of this, I really can't make any more progress on the terrain until I have the level designed. I spent a little while creating this design for the game. I decided to divide the level into five sections, noted with a checkpoint flag. I'll start with the first section. This is basically just an intro section for the player. A few simple enemies will sit on the ground so the player has to practice jumping. Then a harder jumping enemy will finish off the section. Above him I drew a coin to collect. This coin is a little challenging to obtain because it will require a lunge during the jump. Besides the coin though, this is supposed to be a simple introductory level. Next up is another level, similar to the first, but a little harder. A rolling enemy will be placed in front of the shooting enemy so the player has to jump into the enemy's fire. Then two jumping enemies will appear in a way that the player has to time their jump well to get over them. The player will then enter a little closed area with two smashing enemies. The proper way to get around them will be to go under the first and over the second. But again, for an additional challenge, the player will have to lunge right before a jump in order to collect a coin. The next section is going to be a hill battle. The player will have to jump over a shooting enemy again, right into enemy fire. Once the player has done that, another shooting enemy is waiting at the top of the hill. I want to add something else to this level, but I haven't quite decided yet. If you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them below. The second to last section is going to be a cavern. The player will begin by having to do a tricky lunge jump around a smashing enemy. Then a coin will be on the ceiling, between two spikes. The spikes are close enough that the jump will require a good timing to get. Then, another smashing enemy will appear, and this time all the player has to do is not jump. A wall of spikes appears, at which the player has to jump over while avoiding the shooting enemy's bullets, which are able to go through the spikes. Finally, a set of two smashing enemies and a jumping enemy appear, which the player can just jump right through. The last section of this game is in this lava area. Basically, a few platforms will be hovering on the lava, and the player has to jump on them while avoiding a ton of shooting enemies. In the middle, a set of two spikes will appear, which the player can normally just jump right over, but if you want to collect the coin, you must time your jump well in order to land in between the set of spikes. After one more shooting enemy, the game is won. This is all, of course, subject to change, but I hope to stick pretty closely to this in the final game. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss creating the first two sections of the level. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask below. Until next time.